Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Klarna to Stripe account in 2023. Klarna, of course, is a popular payment solution that provides flexible payment options for customers. So in this guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps to integrate Klarna with your Stripe account for seamless payment processing. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, we'll have to go and sign in into a Stripe account. Or if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create a new one. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use for this tutorial steps. For me, it's going to be Brave. For you, it could be any browser that you have in your PC. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to the CRL section. Make sure here to type stripe.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you will be taken to their home screen or main screen. If you don't have an account and you don't know nothing about Stripe, you can simply start by scrolling down, read more information about this website, see even at the bottom what people saying about it, and just have a general idea or familiarize yourself with the website or with just understand something or a bit of things about Stripe so you can create an account because like it's kind of stupid to create an account somewhere that you know nothing about so here once you like uh, have if you have an account you can simply go and click on sign in at the top right corner if you don't you'll have to go instead of click on get started here i'll just click on pricing as you can see so you can see the pricing and custom of standard and custom you can pause the video and check us or read everything so for me i'll just click on sign in here and of course i'll uh, as you can see i'm already like signed in into my account because i did uh, like sign in into my account recently basically you'll have to sign in for you or if you don't have an account you'll have to click on start for free and create your accounts right away and here what you'll need to do is basically make sure to uh, accept of course the payment and to connect it to any other option make sure that you finish this three steps explore setup and go live so as you can see i'm still on setup I'll have to add some business details that I'm not going to. So for you, make sure to go and add your business details. Just add the information that they ask for. So as example, if you click on continue, as you can see, they have to verify my business. So you'll have to enter the business type, personal details, verification document, business details, fulfillment details, and public details. If you want to start using like Stripe, then you'll have to go and add your bank, secure your accounts, add extras like tax calculation, limits and contribution, and finally, review and finish everything then click on agree and submit once you finish you will be set up already so you'll be able to use stripe as you can see you'll be able to go live and use it to connect it with klarna or to do whatever you want other than that make sure to go and open a new tab and type klarna of course.com hit the enter button here you'll have to basically do the same go to the top right corner click on login uh, private login or business login depending on whatever uh, type of, of account you have so for me as an example i'll just click on private login and basically here create an account if you don't have an account as an example it's going to be start, starting with the phone number and if you have an account click on sign in instead and as you can see it's going to be your phone number or email so if you don't have an account click on create instead once you created your account you will have of course uh, your Klarna account and stripe account ready to use now we basically have to connect Stripe with Klarna. So here on Stripe, if we go to this list panel as an example and click on connect, as you can see, so we have here connected accounts or uh, accounts to review. So basically, you will have, you can create some connections with other accounts. And as you can see for me, I cannot create any connection because my account is not live. So I'll have to activate my account and complete my platform profile so I can create that. Of course, uh, let's just explore the apps and see if Klarna is there. And then if you like have your application, so sorry, close that. So if you have your, uh, like uh, your account is activated, you'll be able to connect it because the connects will be very easy. So here, go to search apps and type Klarna and hit the enter button. As you can see, no search results found. Now, if you want to like complete the connection from Stripe, you can simply go and click on submit a request. Of course, this will open uh, the pick app so click on it as you can see so you'll have to open it i'll just use the brave that i'm using now and basically so you'll have or they will open like an email provider for you so you to type an email and request to add klarna for stripe 
other than that, let's just close this as an example. Here, if we go to payments, and as you can see, we have here all payments and etc. So let's just even close this. And of course, let's just go here as an example to all transactions. As you can see, I have nothing. Disputes, I have nothing. Collection fee, has I have nothing. So basically, all you need to do. So here, basically, just go to Klarna. Of course, uh, once you're logged into your account, you'll find that the bottom left corner in the settings option, click on it and click on API credentials. Click on it and click on create an API credential. You'll have to get this API to simply connect the Slack to Stripe. As simple as that. And of course, once you do so, just go back here to Stripe. And now what you'll need to do simply go to billing. Uh, no, sorry, not billing. Uh, I guess, wait. Oh yeah, it's on connect. So as you can see your uh, platform products here, you'll have to go to payments and click on continue system. Here, of course, you will have to go answer those questions if you want to, and then keep clicking like on connects. For example, I'll just go to, con uh, I'll just like answer uh, like, I don't know, I'm just doing some random stuff here. For you, make sure to answer accurate. And of course, after that, you will be able to add the payments connection. And this payments connection, make sure it's Klarna. And of course, you will be asked to add the API credential that you already added. So for me, I'll not be able to do this because as example, if I click on anything, they will ask me to add again, again my company or business uh, information and etc. So I'll not do that at the moment. For you, make sure to uh, simply go and do that. So you can find us, of course, in the payments method uh, settings. You will find Klarna there. Just go and add it. And if you didn't find us, of course, you can always contact their support to do so. Then you'll be able, after that, of course, to authorize the integration, grant the necessary permission to allow Stripe to access your Klarna account data and set up you uh, like your Klarna account according to your preferences. And this may include like configuring payments options and checkout experience. So after that, make sure to perform like a test transaction to ensure that Klarna payments are working correctly through Stripe. So you can test it from Stripe or from Klarna, it does not actually matter. And of course, after that, make sure to check your Stripe dashboard uh, to ensure that Klarna is listed as an active payment method. If it is, congratulations, you've already connected Klarna to your Stripe account in 2023. And of course, this integration will provide your customers with flexible payments options, enhancing their shopping experience. So keep an eye on your payments settings to ensure smooth transactions. So thank you for watching and happy selling with Klarna through Stripe. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always contact the support of Klarna or Stripe or even leave a comment down in the comment section. I'll come back to you as soon as possible. So, if you like, so thanks for watching, of course, and I'll see you in the next video.